All right, guys, KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting out at the Milford County Sportsman's Association, and today what I'm doing is I am testing out some reloads. It came to my attention the other day is that I've only got a, maybe 200 rounds left of my Magtech 77 grain, and uh, it's just almost impossible to find some of the other stuff. But anyway, uh, this video is brought to you by Callaway Ballistics. These guys are providing a bunch of the ammo uh, for the channel, and I'll be using that in the upcoming Memorial 3 gun uh, for the base shooting. But for the long distance stuff, I like a 77 grain. And the Magtech has done really, really good for me, especially out of this setup uh, associated with the primary arms. There's a platinum scope with the ACSS reticle in it. It's the older version, which I absolutely love because it is dead nuts out to 600 yards. Uh, any silhouette or anything else like that, it's, it's just easy to do. So what we decided to do is go ahead and set up my reloading bench in my home away from home uh, up here in Pennsylvania and use that to develop a load. And I'm really excited about it. And also over the past two years, I was able to get uh, those Frankfurt Arsenal uh, IntelliDroppers I used to find those things, man, for $165 on a day sale and just knocked it out. And so the cool thing is, is I have three IntelliDroppers that are all calibrated and I've cross-checked to make sure each one weighs perfectly. And that's one of the things that you want to make sure of. So I'm using the uh, Sierra Match King uh, open tip, no, no, non-cantalured, okay? And uh, CFE 223, simply because, well, that's the, 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 the powder that I have most on hand. So that's what I'm using. So what we're gonna watch today, guys, is I want to mainly compare the muzzle velocity with the MagTech, because that's what matches up. You get a ballistic coefficient uh, with your, uh, your muzzle velocity, equals identical drop if you can get them close. So what we decided to do is go ahead and start off with a 25.2 uh, grains of CFE 223 and 25.4. Some of the standard deviations might differ a little bit uh, just because I did not use, I didn't go through and match all the brass up. So there might be a, a, a Winchester or something else in there. Most of the time, I always make sure that I match up the uh, Lake City because that's a good uh, shell to use. So we're going to go ahead and start this thing. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the MagTech. Uh, I'm using the Gen 2 chronograph uh, from Caldwell. This thing's awesome because it's lit. Uh, it provides me all the information and it uh, goes through a uh, Wi-Fi or a Wi-Fi Bluetooth signal. So I can set my little thing right here. I can see all my stuff. And all you gotta do is kind of look over here. Now, guys, Death X Squad made up this uh, beautiful uh, tripod, which has a ball turret head on it. And you can use this with the regular pick rail as well as the uh, Arca rail. This thing's awesome. And it can be used as a tripod or a bipod, either way. But today we're using it to hold that telephone. So let's go ahead, get this party started and see how this guy works out. Now on this one, I'm going to shoot at the bottom target, cameras on, and we're going to shoot the MagTech, then I'm going to take the 25.2 and the 25.4, just to bring you along for the journey. This is the fun stuff. And it would be awesome if I released that bolt forward. And we had a little bit of a breeze out here. And I am using a 50 yard zero, so it's gonna shoot high. Yeah, not bad. So that's the uh, MagTech 77 grain. I love that stuff. So what we did, we had a, a standard deviation of 21.38, uh, average speed of 2681. So that's what I want, okay? Um, 
not a bad deal. Average speed, true muzzle velocity is 2681. So uh, not bad. So the first thing I'm gonna do, here's a little, I even forgot and left at home my doggone, uh, what do you call it, the, my <laughs> ammo boxes. So we're gonna go ahead and, I got it in the Ziploc bag here. And these guys are uh, just loaded to Sammy spec. Uh, and I, honestly, I uh, was starting off the RCBS uh, 223 dies. Quit using them because uh, they were deforming the uh, ogive of the, of the bullet. And then also I was using the world's greatest trimmer and I ditched that thing because it basically looked like a hacksaw was taking the end off of the damn thing. Maybe it's my fault, I don't know. Y'all let me know. So I'm gonna do a five round shot group, see how these perform. And like I said, if I can get an MOA out of it, I'm happy. But the most important thing is I wanna be right around that 2681 mark. Okay, so this is the 25.2 grains of CFE223. All right, here we go. Twenty six forty five, twenty six forty one before that. Twenty six forty one. Twenty six fifty nine. And that's 2626, a little slow. I gotta be honest with you, I test drove these things a little while ago and I was getting 2700 uh, feet per second. So now I've got the uh, 25.4 grains right here. <laughs> I think uh, I had a 19 feet per second spread. That's pretty good. That group didn't look too bad either. I'm impressed. Now, this rifle has got a proof research 16 inch barrel. We're running an AR gold trigger. It's probably about, I'd say, barely two and a half pounds, maybe. Uh, Rubber City Arsenal uh, Bolt Carrier and uh, uh, Warren Tactical Scope Mount. All right, and a JP handguard. Okay, and if you notice, the whole thing is set up with the low mass operating system from JP. This guy recoils nada. Okay, this is the 25.4 top target. We're in a 26.80. Hell yeah, I'm thinking that that's a load, boys. 2642, damn. 2657. Uh-oh, blew something up. 2649. We lost our connectivity. Probably I uh, got the concussion from the the uh, thing. Okay, so uh, not bad. I still think uh, what we may want to do when I start doing the actual competition loads is I'm probably going to go with one IntelliDropper. But I'll be honest with you, when you're uh, when you're doing that kind of stuff, uh, you calibrate the living hell out of them. You cross them over. You make sure you calibrate, 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 and you drop a load from one, you put it on the other one to see if it's identical, and if it is, that's perfect. Uh, not sure if that's the proper way to do it. But in any case, that was a lot of fun. I think we're on the right track. I thought this would be fun to bring you guys out here on this adventure with me. It's KB32. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, blue. God bless America. God bless his men, women in uniform 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom is not free. I'm out of here. Y'all be good. Boom.